Hey guys, it's me, Melissa Marie, and I'm so excited because I have a great video for you today. I'm going to be attempting to make chicken and waffles my own way. It ain't gonna be perfect. It ain't gonna be the traditional way. I'm not really sure, but it's gonna be chicken and it's gonna be waffles. I got a new waffle maker on sale at ShopRite, so I'm excited to try it. And I'm gonna do um, chicken wingettes, but I'm gonna do them in the oven. I've tried this before, they came out okay. So let's see how this goes. So, okay, so as I was saying in the beginning, um, I'm doing like the little wing, wing, I'm doing the little wingettes. So I, I do bake them, which I know is kind of weird. Um, uh, I'm not doing fried chicken. So I'm not gonna just, you know, flour and fry it. What I'm gonna do is bake it. I'm gonna do, divide up the, divide up the flavors. So it's gonna be, then we do like the regular buffalo wings with the hot sauce and butter sauce. And then I'm going to do lemon pepper, which is my favorite. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I like to boil the wings first. I think some people call it blanching. I don't know if I'm even doing blanching right, so I'm not going to say that. I boil them first because I'm always afraid that when I bake them, like that I'll take them out prematurely and I won't know if they're done. I know. I know it's crazy, but this is why I do this because I experiment. It's fun for me. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying this. So we're going to keep going. Are you supposed to put it on everything? <laughs> but this is good too. So I don't know. And this, I have more of this, but I don't think I need a lot. So I might go with this. We'll see. Um, I have butter already. I only have a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning left. So that may present a problem, but I think this might even still just be enough. I'll probably just finish it off. So that, and of course I'm still going to use adobo. And and I start, I, I know this is like a weird angle. I'm going to move you closer when I do that because I decided I'm going to do the... Let me take my glasses off because I know the, the ring light is probably reflecting in them. Um, I'm going to do the buffalo sauce now. Uh, while this Because this chicken is almost finished and it don't need to be in there all day. I just like to give it a little pre-boil. So I'm going to go ahead and... Or maybe is it called parboil? Or, no, that's rice, right? Girl, don't get me, don't get me started. But um, we're gonna go ahead and put, get this buffalo sauce going. Bring it all closer. Okay, so the chicken is done. I am going to put it in here. I'm gonna to try to take out some of the moisture first. So I'm just put that there. More moisture. I know this is weird. Adobo. 
just regular salt. Black pepper. A little bit of garlic. Honey powder. Kitty batter. Okay, so that's it for now. We're going to put it in there. I'll let you guys know when it comes out. But right before I take it out, and I'm not even sure how long I'm going to keep it in for, but I'll, I'll figure it out. And I'll show you guys the waffle maker. And actually, I can show you that right now. So this is the waffle maker that I got from ShopRite. It was 50% off. So this thing was, I think it was $15, which... I think it's a full size waffle maker for 15 and it does a little spin thing like I couldn't pass this up so then the the waffle mix I actually got from Aldi and it's a protein one so I don't really know how great it's going to taste but I mean hey can't go wrong with protein and it might taste a little thick but it's just add water so we're gonna make this one It was at this moment that he knew. Bruh. I don't know if that one's gonna turn out good because of the protein, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna try to use this one next. There's only a little bit left though.
Okay, so it's not crispy. So I'm gonna put it in my toaster oven. See if I can add some crispiness to it. That's what I'm gonna do now. turned out guys um like you saw what i did i baked i boiled it baked it and put it in a toaster oven so that's like a lot i'm um, pretty sure it was probably a much easier way to do it but that is how i do it um they seem to be pretty crispy i'm going about to try everything now uh i'm gonna just go ahead and eat the protein the protein one because i think my son will probably prefer the other one and i'll just have um have a couple of each so i'm gonna take so I'm going to give it a try. Right, we're gonna try the waffle like I said I don't know if I'm gonna like this waffle because it is a protein waffle but I'm gonna give that a try first it's actually not bad pretty good so it looked weird when I was making it but it actually is pretty good and then we're gonna try a lemon pepper wing first sorry that was my loud microwave I didn't even think think about it it was work it was going during this whole time but That's a lemon pepper. Not too bad. This is the buffalo. Can't really taste much of the hot sauce. It's seasoned well, but the it's missing the heat. Ain't got no heat, ain't no buffalo. But this is pretty good. Anyway, that was my strange way of making chicken and waffles, but that's what I was craving, and I'm going to sit here and enjoy it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and let me be a, an example to whoever is afraid to try something. Just try it, because it can't be worse than me. As always, thank you for watching.